What is up guys, my name is Craig Sawyer if you didn't already know and I'm back with another unboxing and another pair of Jordans. So this year marks the 30th anniversary of the Air Jordan 3 to be released. So they've been released in different colorways of that shoe um, in the golf industry. This year we had the uh, the white and elephant print uh, that came out at the beginning of the year at uh, March time, uh, followed by a premium pair, which is kind of a brown leather pair, um, only a very select few of those made. There was the end of March, um, and then towards the back end of the year, August, was this pair, which is the black and glow green pair. So let me grab those out for you. So you get your standard Jordan box uh, with the Jumpman logo and your number 23 sort of tissue paper in there. And these are the latest colorway of the Air Jordan 3s, like I said, in black and green glow. Now, I think these are probably my second favorite colorway. The white uh, the original ones were, were my favorite. Wasn't a fan of the brown leather ones, but these are, I do quite like. I have to be said, I'm not overly sold on the green sole at the moment, um, obviously, Green isn't really my favourite colour and it's quite out there. Possibly would have preferred maybe a like a blue um, or something else that was less in your face. Green on the golf course, personally, don't think it works, but they're a nice statement piece um, and they will make you stand out from the crowd. So if we go through the style pieces on this shoe, uh, you get the Jumpman logo on the tongue and you get one on the insole as well. There isn't one on the back, um, so with the white pair, you've got the Jumpman uh, logo with Air written on the bottom. Uh, with the premium and this pair, you get the Nike Golf Club sort of golf shield uh, on the back of that. You get your elephant print, um, staying from the original shoe as well. And sort of the top half uh, is pretty much, you know, that textured leather as you would find in the Air Jordan 3s. Obviously the sole is slightly different because it's golf, not basketball, um, and obviously the shield on there. The leather itself is waterproof, so these shoes are waterproof if you do actually want to take them out on the golf course and wear them. Uh, lots of people I would know would buy them and not wear them, but some people will, so they do work as a golf shoe. A pretty standard sole on them. You get seven spikes on there and lots of grip from the sole of this shoe. So it will give you a lot of stability out on the golf course if you want to wear them. So lots of padding around the ankle um, and tongue there. So nice and supportive as well. Not the most technical golf shoe, uh, but definitely one up there in the style ranks as, as always. Whether you want to pick these up to just keep them and have them as a collection, I think they'll probably be worth a fair few bob in the future, uh, especially if you had sort of all three colorways, definitely. Um, but you know, they work as a golf shoe, that's what they're designed to do, um, and they do it quite well. Not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, I completely understand that, um, but personally, I do like them. The green is growing on me more and more, and I will definitely be wearing these out on the golf course, they're not gonna be staying in the box. Uh, we all know I love my golf shoes, and I do like to wear them as well. And that is pretty much it for this new colorway of the AJ3s. Now I'm not sure if any more are coming this year in any different colorways. I have a feeling that that may be it uh, for the Air Jordan 3s. But as we know, the Nike brand bring out lots of different Jordan shoes and they're gonna keep doing that as well. We had the uh, Trainer STs not long ago and some other styles as well. So definitely keep your eye out for more of those they are only going to be bringing the best Jordan shoes uh, to the golf world, which I am more than happy about. So thank you very much to Golf Poser for sending me a pair of these. Now I do believe they are already sold out. Uh, they went live at 8am uh, on the 10th of August and sold out within a few hours, I believe. So I don't think we're going to be able to get any from that website. And I believe that pretty much everywhere is sold out like always with Jordans, but you may be able to find uh, a few pairs dotting around from private sellers, or there may be one or two um, sizes left here and there. Uh, you're gonna have to do some uh, searching to find those. But as always guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date on all of the apparel and footwear landscape in the world of golf. Um, probably best to hit me up on Instagram as well because I will be dropping when these guys get released and stuff like that. Obviously I'm a little bit later uh, with the unboxings and we've usually missed the boat with them as if you wanted to buy them. Uh, but Instagram I will sort of let you know as soon as I know and hopefully you can cop yourself a pet. 
So guys, until next time, push.